This edition of Computer Club Lesson was recorded on June the 12th, 2017. This edition is Question and Answer. Hello, welcome to Computer Club Lesson. This episode is brought to you by the Binary Guys. Okay, let me sit down for just a second, James, and we'll get started off here. I think I set up too many chairs again. <laughs> oh well. I'm going to sit down because I'm not feeling well and it's a hot day. Yeah. <laughs> um, this uh, will be our last uh, meeting until the fall. Uh, and I mention that because uh, my health is not getting any better. And um, I don't know even come this fall whether I will be able to do every other week. We'll start off and we'll see, see how it goes. But um, I'm not sure about that. So in the meantime, if you know of anybody that in the village that is knowledgeable and wants to work with me on this project, I'd be happy to talk to them and uh, see if we can keep it going. I don't want to see it go away. I don't want to see it. I need you. <laughs> want to see it, uh, see us keep it going. So if you can uh, find somebody. Uh, or if you know somebody who's knowledgeable who might want to uh, jump in and help us, that would be great. Send them over to me. Okay, the th uh, what we're going to do today is uh, question and answers. And um, James will jump in here and, and start off answering and I'll jump in if I need to. If he's going a little astray. Hi, Come on in. How are you? How are you? Good. <sighs> okay, so uh, James, yeah. you're up. Sit down and take the questions. Ugh. All right. Questions and maybe answers. <laughs> this is now officially started. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, mine is about Windows Defender. Oh, here's Eddie. Wait, sit for that Eddie. Sit down. Hey, man. <laughs> um, I put in the latest update, the creator's update. They prompted yeah. me and I put it in. They have disabled my Windows updater icon in the, on, you know, on my desktop. And they now have, I have a little icon, a Windows Defender icon in the taskbar. It has a little blue arrow, you know, thing, and you click on, you, you just pass over and it says no action required. Have they taken over updating it, the Windows Defender, and what if I want to scan? They did the scan and everything when this update went in, and are they going to update it for me? I need to know because I don't know how to get into Windows Defender to do it. I've tried, I've been all over the place. Um... Typically, Windows Defender is also in Control Panel. Yeah. Unless they got oh, rid yeah, of that. Control Panel. Yeah. Yeah, here it is, Windows Defender. They just if it's in here, you would click that, and that would bring oh, it up. There it is. Okay, click on the Control Panel then. Because I mean, I've done my own stuff, but I I haven't read up enough to see if with this new creators update if they're going to just keep on it just says no action required and it's always got that little tick on it all right i'm going to i'm going to say a few words about uh um yeah. windows 10 and the latest update of creator um, what uh, windows has done uh, is they're going to give everybody another opportunity to go from 7 to 10 and you will just jump over all of the uh the uh, latest Windows 10 updates and it will give you Windows Creator. So if your friends in the village still have Windows 7 and they're prompted to Windows 10, I can now recommend that they just go ahead and take the update. If something goes terribly wrong, then I can probably get them out of it. But uh, in all probability, that will not happen. 
um, what will happen is uh, Windows 10 will look very, very carefully at the computer before it installs Windows 10, and if it sees a problem, it just won't do it. So you're stuck with what you got. Mm -hmm. But um, Windows Windows 10 is uh, now uh, back to being free again if you get the icons on your desktop and, and a nag saying, yeah, update to Windows 10. They want you to do it, as you know, and, and they'll forego their fee uh, to get you into Windows 10. Yes. I have uh, Windows 7 on mine, but uh, I tried to get Windows 10, and it, I guess my computer is too old. Yes. Okay. So it won't go. No, no, it'll it'll look at it and uh, and uh, it will. Make a determination whether it can safely run Windows 10, and if it can't, it just won't do it. It's that simple. Okay. Any other questions about Windows 10? Yes. About Windows 10, but they haven't prompted me yet. But I can yeah, see it where my updates are. It says Windows yeah. 10 is coming. Blah blah blah. Yeah. But and, they actually and, will prompt yeah. you. I was playing a game, and they just interrupted me with a with a window and said, "Do yeah. you have it ready? Yeah. Would you like to set a date, a time?" And I did it at four thirty after I closed yeah. off and everything, and then because it takes a while. Yeah, it, it, it takes the rest of the afternoon. Maybe yes, some on an older computer it might take all night. Yeah, well, yeah, mine didn't take all all night, but it took like all afternoon right to about seven or something. Eight yeah. Hours. So, but it did prompt me. It, so it, it, yeah. Okay, there you go, James. Is this only an update from seven to ten, or uh, like I already have ten, and it yeah, yeah, it's only, update for that? It's, yeah. They they want you to to uh, start working with Windows ten okay. if you only have seven, um, and so they're yeah, because isn't seven going to be uh just not this? It'll be uh, it'll be um, it won't be, be supported. updated supported uh, probably this time next year. Um, so they want you to get on it if you can, and they're going to give it to you for free. They'll give you every incentive to move up. Now, uh, Windows Creator is really Windows Home, Windows 7 Home. That's really what it is. Hi there. Hi. Come on in. And, and so that's why they're not taking money from you. If you have Windows 7 Pro, they would take money from you. No cell phones in class, mister. Well, that's your mother. <laughs> Even worse. Don't better answer it. So, really, as I said, Windows Creator is really Windows 7 Home. If you have Pro, uh, they may give you the update, maybe not. You may have to, to buy it, or it will throttle back to Windows Home. There is no re real reason anymore for a home gamer to have Windows Pro. Okay. I'm not sure if I have Windows Creator. Is there a special icon for it? Well, if it's uh, if you uh, if you look um, security updates, security updates in the control panel, uh, oh, really, you may find this. it. Um, the other place to look is under My PC. You right click, yeah. Yeah. and uh, when that panel comes up, it should say that it's Windows 10 Creator. Yeah, because you're pro currently. Yeah. Windows Creator. Well, mine, could I put more memory in or something? No, no, no. It's, it may be too slow uh, a processor to make it worthwhile. Yeah, just, and uh, if you're not into uh, four, or five, four or five hundred bucks for a new computer, Windows 7 will do you until it quits. Okay? No, sorry. <laughs> no, no man. You're, you're going to have to buy new to get the latest stuff. Oh yeah, nice looking there. More questions for James? Hey, any more questions? Yeah, Brenda. Google Chrome. I always use the Google Chrome thing me to open the internet. Uh, five to ten minutes after it's opened. Google Chrome cannot find a connection. It found one and I'm doing things and it screen goes black and then I have to turn it off wrong with the button and it takes forever to come on. And it was doing this for most of last week and then all of a sudden Edge come up and says, this is Edge, can we help you? And I went, yes you can. 
put it on the ta the E on the taskbar and open it through Edge. I want rid of Chrome. I still try it. It still come. Edge is working okay. just fine, yeah. but Chrome that's, won't. That's a uh, control panel. Remove Chrome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I tried that and it won't. Chrome won't leave. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, yeah. I can't get rid of it. I hated it. it. Um, right. There may be a program from Google to remove Chrome if it's dangerous. Have a quick Google. From Google? Yeah. But when Edge comes up, it opens in Yahoo, and I can't get rid of Yahoo either. And it opens across the top there. There's fills up with boxes that just Brandon, you have so Yahoo. many problems, I can't even. <laughs> I mean, I get rid of them all. You should just stop having a computer. <laughs> <laughs> you have too many problems. Oh, well, they're a big one. Brandon's computer closet is keeping going. Google Chrome removal tool. That's it. That's what you get so go to Google Chrome to remove Google Chrome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, I, I just go to Google, Google oh, Chrome because it's it's know. the only thing that has Google on it. Uh, Google Chrome. What what was it looking for? I Google already Google forgot. Google. <laughs> Google. <laughs> <laughs> Google. 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 Chrome cleanup tool. Yeah, that'll do it. Clean up. I don't want to yeah. clean it up. I want cleanup tool. Well, well scam. Remove tool, the software we'll that may cause the problem with cleanup Chrome. Cleanup tool. will get rid of that. A little cleanup tool. Yeah. yeah. So just download, download that Brenda, and uh, and oh. run it, and that should get rid of Chrome. Okay. I don't think it will get rid of Chrome. It will just remove any problems that it will remove the problem that's causing Chrome to it have might, a problem. It might just fix it up to use because it because Picasso belongs to Google, doesn't it? Yeah. And I managed to get all my pictures in one place, found them all, and they're on Picasso. So if I remove Google, do I lose all my pictures? No, you don't lose anything. They're always in your, they're, they're always I in your account. Found them? Yes, you were right. And they were, and I found them, and I put them all in one place. <laughs> yeah, that might be your best bet, uh, Chrome cleanup, because from what I'm reading from this little excerpt, yeah, uh, it will fix any problems with Chrome, such as crashes, unusual startup pages. Toolbars, unexpected ads, you can't get rid of, and otherwise changing your brow browsing experience. Yeah, what uh, I think what this uh, this cleanup tool is uh, in uh, in Google Chrome Since is it's it, it's a, another button in settings that you have to go through about five screens to get at. Okay, we could show you where it is, but you'd forget yes, by the time to get out the door. But this <laughs> will essentially uh, in settings. Uh, down at the bottom. Yeah, I love how we said we're not going to show you, and here we are. Yeah. <laughs> no. uh, but um, yeah, settings you know, there are more settings down at the bottom. Uh, there's a reset the browser. Okay. But this this cleanup tool will probably oh, reset do that. settings. So you're uh, you're good to do that. Um, now what else did I want? Oh, your Picasso. Yes. Okay. Uh, James, go back to the um, to uh, Google Chrome and uh, under uh, yeah the home page uh, under uh, your there you go uh, Picasso Fo should be here photos I think it would be photos yeah if you look at like photos yes 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 yeah it <laughs> might be there. Hey, look, that's me when I had a goatee. <laughs> How times have changed. Uh, but uh, Picasso, uh, as a program, okay, um, if all your photos are in there, just keep updating it. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, with because Picasso. Picasso is part of Google. I thought so. But if you uninstall Google Chrome, you won't uninstall Picasa. That has to be uninstalled separately. It's so a separate program. Yeah. yeah. So you don't have to worry about accidentally getting rid of it unless you actually physically get rid of it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, next question.
Yeah. Yeah. New computers. They've got A, M, B, quad, core, and everything instead uh -huh. of uh, Intel. Instead of the Intel. I think. Well. You'll always have Intel and AMD. AMD is the cheaper version. Oh, okay. Um, it's, AMD is its own, its own company, own brand. Some people like AMD more than Intel. Um, it's typically a more cheaper version. Okay, so Intel is better. Yeah, in, Intel is better, personally. Um, but it's just Intel costs a lot more. Just like but you get there's an awful lot of them now that have got that AMD quad core and everything else. Yeah. And I thought, well, why are they changing everything? Well, AMD's always been around. Um, oh. Like, I could find several computers with AMD things in it. Um, it's just a cheaper option then, than AMD. going to Intel. Because if you want a good Intel processor, you're looking at like 700 bucks. With AMD, you're only looking at like, what, five to four, four to five hundred, roughly? Maybe even two and a half. Two and a half. Oh, okay. But you get what you pay for. Yeah, that's <laughs> I, I believe in that. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go out from under the desk. <laughs> Turn key, true key. I have my oak here and I keep reading that as turkey. It says it's a pa I have an icon for it, so I didn't know what it was, so I opened it and it says it's a password app and it will look after your password. Is yeah. it safe? You, you want to take yeah. this one? Uh, <laughs> pass, uh, now we're talking about password management programs. Yeah, that's what okay. it says it is. Uh, unless you are really um, up to date and knowledgeable okay. about how to handle passwords and programs that would manage them, stay away from it, okay? okay? Because what can happen is you can, uh, you can allow uh, the password management program to work and take over your computer and take over how you use your passwords. But, and here comes the but, it doesn't tell you what your new passwords, what your really hardened passwords are. It just manages them. Okay? And it makes it, uh, some of them even make new passwords for you. So now you don't know what your password is for that important application on the web that you need to get at. And then someday the password management program goes, oops, I'm busted. What do you want to do? Um, if you can't remember or you haven't written down everything that you know about your password management program to recover it, all of your passwords are gone. All right. So for the home gamer, I do not recommend a password management program. The it's only just that simple. A little black book. <laughs> yeah, a little black, black book. I think we talked about this years ago. Uh, or two years ago, anyway. Um, how to manage um, your online passwords um, for your friends and family who, uh, at your, I'm sorry, demise, uh, may want to remove you from the internet. Well, the only way to do that is to know how to log into your accounts. Yes, once that's done, you can remove your account from the internet, and there's no more about Brenda or, or, uh, or any of it, okay? There's no more about me there if you remove those accounts. But someone has to do it. And if you don't do it before you die, your relatives have to do it. So having a book with all of your passwords in it all of the, the sites that you use passwords for and their passwords and up to date um, is a, sort of an essential thing. And by the way, don't keep it a secret. <laughs> Tell somebody, someone you trust in your family that these are the passwords to my digital life. And when I go, my digital life should be removed from the internet. And then there's many who I don't remember any of my passwords. Get a book.
<laughs> it's too late. I don't know. <laughs> well, let's just start automatically over. sign it in. Start over. <laughs> so if you just forget it, you know, you're gone. What happened? You don't care about the password. Well, the the thing of it is, is is that account that you have will remain on the internet forever. I mean, it's a good memorial. Yeah, yeah, it's, it may <laughs> well be, but you know, 20 years from now, you haven't died. Your ghost is still on the internet because nobody removed your profile. Your email could be you. Somebody could be trying yeah. to hack in through your yeah. email. Like yeah. To yeah, that or, sounds like or if you do fast. online banking, okay, yes. and you haven't thought to cancel all this stuff before you pass on. Um, Someone in your family is going to have to do that. Well, the the easiest way to do it is for you to give them all the information that they need mm -hmm. to accomplish that for you. Because if if they don't, um, that that account may um, stay there forever open. Uh, there may be nothing in it, but it's a it's an attack vector for someone else to attack a bank. Or credit union, or something uh, financial, some financial institution you've dealt with, your credit cards and stuff like that. It's an attack vector for somebody else. Is there uh, anything that would cause your computer to go offline? I'll go on and I'll be doing everything, and all of a sudden it'll tell me you're not connected. Okay. Google Chrome. Yep. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to show you something you can look at. And there's a toggle switch. I can go back and you just switch the toggle yeah. switch, and it'll search and find your site again. Yeah. Um, I am going to. Let me see. Um, if you right click on this PC or my PC and you go to manage yep. what you want to manage is the device manager okay mm -hmm. this little item right here device manager yep. you'll open that up and I see that uh, I have a few mini ports here that have uh, I'll wheedle their way into my computer called the wide area network mini ports. This is a problem with Windows 10 and if your computer is losing its connectivity what you want to do is once you've gotten into this manage page okay you want to right click on a wide area network mini port, any one that you find, and you want to uninstall. Okay? And you do it with all of them. All of the ones that you can find. Restart your computer, and your computer will, if it needs a wide area network mini port, it will install it. But not, what's happening is you may have 10 of these here, and the computer doesn't know which one to use all the time. Uh, who, who else had that problem with disconnection? It's me. Yeah. 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 My, my, my wife has a laptop and we use the same. Yeah. Person it's, doesn't, never disconnect. Yeah. Uh, that, you, I, I want you to look at that and, uh, and see if there's more than one entry for uh, a wide area network mini, mini port. Uh, that remind, I will have to uh, take care of this when I get home, but I'm not dropping connections. I don't have uh, so any conflicts with it. Yeah, W wide area network. Okay. So I'm going to show you just one more time how to get at it. Yeah, right click on. Right click on PC. this PC, yeah. and then go to manage. manage. Okay. And what you want to manage mm -hmm. is the device manager. Yeah, and you want to go to the network adapters if it hasn't already opened that one. Well, never mind that. This is the easiest way to do it. Yes, you can remove them from network adapters, no, but I if meant, you make a mistake. I meant, because yours is already open. Yeah. If it's not open, like down to show you all the things, it will be underneath network adapters. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Also, make sure you don't get rid of the Intel 
uh, network connection. Yeah. Because if you get rid of that, you won't have any. You're just looking for the WAN. <laughs> yeah. 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 Wide area network mini port. Okay, uh, that is a problem with Windows 10. Um, I had been told a couple of months ago that it was repaired, but it looks like it's still on this one, maybe on yours as I'm well. I'm surprised the provider couldn't tell you something like no, that. No, I mean, I spe the guy spends a half an hour with you on the phone, yeah, doing all sorts of things, and then he says, "Well, you'll have to talk to somebody else." Yeah, um, this uh, problem only showed up a few months ago. Um, in um, in Windows 10, and um, because I have not been doing business for a while because of my health, uh, I I did not realize that that's what was happening. So I took the computer I was working on to um, see computer yeah. up here on the highway uh, to one of the colleagues there, and he said, "Oh, I know what's wrong. He fixed it in five minutes, and that's what he did." You had just, that problem? Yeah, yeah. That's what he did, just removed the wide area network mini ports, restart the computer. Yeah. You have to restart it. When it restarts, if it if it needs something that you've taken out, uh, a piece of software that you've taken out, it will reinstall. But that should um, that should take care of that problem. Um, any other questions? How many of them did you have on there, Bob? About Where 10. Pardon me? About 10. So do you uh, shut down after every one? Or no, no, you can take, take them all out in one go. And then shut down. Yeah, start from the bottom of the list of w, WAN mini ports right. and just work your way up to the top uh, of WAN mini port. Right. Everything else, leave it alone. Right on. Yes. Another little nuisance thing I was starting to get again. Remember I mentioned the radiant settings kept going in the taskbar again? And yeah. I would hide it. I'd right click and hide it, but it comes back as soon as you turn on the computer again. Finally, you told me, just open it. So I went in, opened it, clicked on it, opened it, hit preferences, and unclicked from on to off, and yeah. never seen it again. So that, that was good to just go in and just in preferences. It just you know what? What? You're getting really good at this. You want to take over? <laughs> good for you. A little hand. You're getting really good at this. I mean, I didn't want to open it. I thought if I opened it, yeah. I might be doing something I didn't want to do. But you can open and you can unclick things and, and yeah. get rid of it. Yeah. And, and, and if you do something wrong, if you decide that, that what you did was wrong, um, Sort of try to remember what you did because you can go back in and undo it. Yeah, just do the reverse thing of what you did. Yeah. yeah. But don't wait a few days. No, you know, no, do it right away. Yeah, you know, I'm a good component of stand by the old system restore. If you do yeah. anything really yeah. bad, you go back a day or two yeah. and say thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anything else? Yes, yes. My C D player doesn't work and I am. Microsoft contact us and I asked them hundreds of people tried to help me. I was so surprised. I did everything they all said and Microsoft and all these good people come up with the same thing. I've got a computer with a bad driver in it. Is uh, it it's no. under warranty. Will you no. replace it? No. Uh, that's the computer you, you got from uh, from C computer. Yeah. Yeah. Take it up to C Alley and let him have a look at it. Yeah. Um, there is a hardware driver for the computer and uh, because it's a Lenovo, okay, that hardware driver will probably be special to the Lenovo, okay, and Ali will be the one to figure that out. Whereabouts is his place? It's uh, at uh, right past the Upper James and Kennedy. Oh, okay. Kennedy is one south yeah, of Rhino Road. Yeah. C computer. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, take it, take it into C Alley, and uh, even if it's out of warranty, you may just simply well, no, air off the support. Yeah. But I've gone, I found all the papers. Yeah. Nowhere does it mention a warranty, even though he said. Yeah, it's it's good for a year. Yeah, it's oh, good. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. but yeah. I, still, I still haven't had it a year. Yeah. And I bought that one because I want the CD and one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, that's what to do. There's your problem solved. Any other problems with hardware? 
Google Chrome asked me once when I, I forget what site I was in, and it says, uh, do you want them to have your logo, or do you want your location? Yeah. Uh, so I turned it off. Location tracking. Okay. Um, that's just um, Google trying to be helpful, and uh, when they try to be helpful, they want to know more about you. You are the product. You're not the client, you're the product. The more they know about you, the more they can sell you stuff. Okay, uh, but it's working. Uh, but the thing of it is, is if you're going to use Google products and you're gonna jump in with both feet, you may as well jump in with both feet, knowing full well that um, Google regards you as the product, not the client. Okay, so they're they're going to uh, use every trick in the book to to find more information about you. Do you have Facebook? No. You, I closed that. Remember, I showed you and we got in there. I cleaned it out. I went to the yeah. settings and put it on every private thing there is, and shut it and went back in and told it to. Uh, like disconnect this. You can't completely disconnect it, yeah. but you can do it so it's temporary and it, and it won't open again until I sign in. Yeah. It says. Yeah. So, no, I don't have Facebook. I don't okay. use it. I just it, shut it off. Yeah. Facebook is another one that wants to know all about you. Yeah. Um, yeah no. uh, any of the social networks. And Google um, um, was big time early into social networks. Mm -hmm. None of them worked out. But uh, they were big time early into that. So right now I still have my location turned off in Google. That's okay to do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah for for like computer wise, that's it's fine. Um, sometimes it like you can use it to get the weather and whatnot, and it will like automatically know where you are for so mm -hmm. to get the weather from that. Oh, specific you're saying point. like if I'm somewhere else and I need to get at things and. I have to show my location? Yeah, but that is only specific to the device you have. Now, we talked about a couple of weeks ago, you're go you were going to get a new phone. I got it. So you've got an Android phone? Yeah, I got an iPhone. Okay, and did you buy a data package? Or <laughs> that's, that's what I was talking about. Talk about to go go through the internet, through the satellite. Yeah. Okay, so you can be like in anywhere. And Everything's in the cloud. That's all. Yeah. I know. yeah. Okay. So you so you have a data package. So you you probably purchased some data. Three gigs. So that's, Three gigs that's lots. That's okay. lots. Okay. So um, that means that your GPS will work with a map. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And in in that case, uh, for that device, if it asks you to turn on yeah. location yeah, services. Go ahead and do that yeah. because what's going to happen then uh, when you're using GPS in a yeah. Google map, uh, it's going to tell you where everything is that you might want to know. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm here, show me gas stations within a mile. Oh, yeah, I'm here, yeah. show me restaurants within yeah. a mile. Yeah. I'm here, show me my friend who lives three blocks away. Yeah, yeah. Or I'm here, show That's me. That's my daughter in law told me, she tells the yeah. grandson. Uh, push the blue button and then you'll know the location to come and pick us up. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, so there's a limit to the yeah. amount of data depending on how much you pay? Uh, well, yes you, and no. Yes and there's no, I mean, you, you, uh, you on, a, on a phone, on a phone, if you're just using it for its regular stuff and not entertainment, um, three gigs should be a plenty yeah. per month. Should be plenty. Yeah. Um, I've I've knocked my phone back to four gigs. I I, I did have eight, but um, well, they're the the, the the old Bell. They wanted sixty five dollars for one gig, and I got yeah. stuck it up your yeah. yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> it, you you went with Freedom Mobile. I went over to uh, I've got Kudo. I went over to the mall and just went and asked wherever I was going to get a deal. And the guy yeah. at Kudo was. I told him, I said, Bell's going to charge me $65 for one gig. I said, I don't want that. He goes, well, oh, we can give you three. I said, already for $65 a month. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Over here at Freedom Mobile um, in the plaza. Yeah. Um, I get, um, I initially bought 
eight gigs from them and it was costing me like $55 a month. Oh yeah. Okay, but uh, I'm never going to use that amount of data again. So uh, the other day I knocked it back to four gigs and um, that is uh, $40 a month. So it's still expensive, yeah. But if, if you're the traveling type, if you're going to travel this summer or you're traveling in the winter time, um, the reason that, that I wanted it so much is not a phone around anymore, yeah. and then you're lost out in the middle of the nowhere. Well, you know, yeah. that's a lot. Yeah, yeah. So, I, yeah. The thing of it is, is uh, depending on who they set you up with, uh -huh. um, for the next while, keep an eye on that phone that it has lots of bars wherever you go. Yeah. Okay, if you're finding that you're going to not remote places, but places you figure should have a cell signal and you yeah. don't have one, time to rethink who your carrier, carrier is. is. That's the daughter in law trying. She's telling me sometimes you gotta watch the carriers. And yeah. So, so if, if you go from Hamilton to Niagara Falls oh, and you take yeah. the Queen E, you're gonna have bars all the way. Yeah. If you go from Hamilton to Niagara Falls through Smithville, yeah. You're going to lose your bars quick. Okay. Once you get past 20 Highway, and there ain't no bars. Okay. okay. All right? Yeah. So, so you've got to be careful car. about going off into the boonies if you're expecting a phone to work. Yeah. Make sure it's going to work over the next few weeks. Keep checking those bars where you are. Yeah. Okay? I remember when my American friend came over, uh, where I live, he was getting like almost no uh, cell phone service. Yeah. But we visited Niagara. It's like, oh my God, I have a cell phone service. Yeah. <laughs> like, but, yeah, because we're right next to America. <laughs> yeah, that your friend was from Boston. My daughter-in-law, she hooked me into hers too. She yeah. said so that when I go to her house, hers is hooked right in. So I just yeah. You mean yeah. she comes up? Yeah, you're you're using Wi-Fi then. Yeah. You're using Wi-Fi then. Yeah. Um, but that that's all good. But yeah, um, just a quick. Uh, reminder for data if you're not using it turn it off because it will constantly go and it you're will saying for each little app or no like you can turn off data straight from uh, the iPod I can probably show you it on my uh, iPhone I should show you it on my iPod well if, you've, if, if she's got three gigs she's probably got enough it's not going to go over and cost you more if it does, I would be very, very angry with somebody. <laughs> but well, there's um, a, a little uh, screen you know, and it shows you what Yeah, what, wh how much you're using. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, typically yeah. on that screen. Keep an eye on that for a couple of months off, too. If it's yeah, I keep my eye on that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anything else? Okay. If you had, uh, like myself, I'm hard of hearing, and uh, if you wanted to use uh, headphones wireless headphones what do you need to for your telephone or your computer for my computer okay you use wireless headphones um, what what you're really going to be looking at is Bluetooth headphones um, now um, what you really need is to understand um, how they're used Bluetooth has a, an effective range maybe of about 15 tops, 20 feet. Okay? An effective range of 15, 20 feet. And then whatever the Bluetooth was doing is going to lose its connection and you're not going to have it anymore. Okay? So, so um, if you want to put your headphones on and wander around, um, it's not going to work out well for you. Uh, there are other solutions um, that um, are not Bluetooth that are radio signal where you plug the device into the computer and then it makes a, uh, the device makes a radio signal to your headphones. Now you're going to get 90, 100 feet. But Bluetooth will not give you much more than 20. So if you're going to look for wireless headphones, uh, you can go to someplace like Canada Computer uh, over here in the mall, 
okay and ask them about wireless headphones but you don't want Bluetooth because it doesn't give you enough range what you're looking for is range okay I mean if you're just gonna sit in front of a computer range doesn't really matter too much no and, but if you're gonna uh, click on some music and wander around your house doing dishes or mopping the floor or something like that and you want the company of the music in your headphones um, you're looking for range okay I have because we have many handicapped auto we only ever got a phone because it was for sort of emergency so I pay about 10 bucks a month for telephone yeah but my vehicle has GPS okay so whenever I'm away I know where gas stations are that sort of thing um, what would be and if I go into a hotel to stay somewhere I can then get in on my phone yeah is there any other reason I would need data um, not really. I mean, um, most packages uh, for what what we call a feature phone, yeah. okay, um, it you uh, you're able to do text and yeah. um, and voice calls and and that's about it. Okay. Um, so you you would on a really cheapo plan, you might get uh, 30, 30 or fifty texts a month. Yeah. Right and um, 30 minutes a month for for uh, cheap wireless di uh, wireless telephone for a feature phone okay text can be a real pain in the wahoo uh, on on a feature phone because if it's only got one two three four five six seven eight nine zero and yeah and <laughs> ABC on on uh, ABC on button two DEF on button three yeah. and so forth okay um, unless you have a keyboard available, um, like this, this phone has a has a uh, um, this phone has a keyboard built into it. Um, but if you're trying to use a keyboard with uh, with a feature phone, um, it can be nightmarish. There are ten year olds who can type. 30 words a minute on a feature phone, <laughs> but you're not one of them. <laughs> okay? My phone is like that, but it tries to guess words. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, my message. Yeah. yeah. And, and, uh, and my, my phone does too. If you're writing a text message, uh, if, if you're using the, the text messenger that came with it, it will. Uh, it will try and guess what your next word is going to be. Now it does learn. Yeah. Uh, it yeah. does yeah, learn. It, it figures out your it. writing pattern, and it learns what. Since you said this word, what is the most likely chance that you'll say this word next? Yeah. And and uh, and he's right. It does learn. It learns this way. Um, I will send a message to James, saying, uh, "Please send, send me, money. me money for your phone." <laughs> Sign. As soon as I type in. James and the word please. I just have to hit next, 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 and the, the entire message goes in. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's like the middle of, of the month, and I don't have to pay it like normally pay it till the beginning text. of the month. <laughs> yeah. So he's right. It, it does learn. It's 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 really wow. neat that way. The the other thing that if you have uh, data on on a smartphone, okay. Uh, and you have some issues um, with typing on the phone, the smartphone can learn your voice over time. Yeah. So you can make messages um, in text message with voice. Yeah. Because what, ha yeah, what happens is that uh, your voice goes to the internet and is uh, translated there into text and then it is sent back to your phone as a as a word text and a message okay and over time and it doesn't take long about a month your phone will learn all of the words that you know um, you have to be careful it, it will give you some rather weird words if you're not careful or you mumble but uh, yeah, it can it can learn voice that's an, and that's another reason to have a data point doesn't take a lot of data but it takes data okay um, anything else James needs to answer a question I, I kind of asked uh, 
James before. I'm not on the computer searching for things very much, so but we have a desktop, and so my husband goes on to search for something, and then um, I think it's Gmail, and it just sort of hangs up. It's really slow. So James was showing me like the three dots at the top. Yeah. To go in and so what what is the best one to search on? Like, uh, like he, he clicks on a little icon at the bottom. Yeah, okay. The, 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 uh, in Windows 10, is that what you have? Uh, yeah. Okay. In Windows 10, the, the, the fastest browser is, is the Microsoft Edge browser. And that's the, uh, the blue E here. Okay. The other one I have showing here is Internet Explorer. Okay. And I'll show you them both. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna bring up Edge, and that's what it looks like. Okay, it uh, it goes to the Google page, but it doesn't have a menu across the top. File, edit, all of those. It, it doesn't have a menu, and you can't get one. It doesn't do it. Um, the this is uh, Microsoft brand of the new faster browser. Um, we're going to open up Internet Explorer and you'll see it looks very familiar, okay? You've got your, your, uh, your menu across the top, file, edit, view, favorites, like that, okay? This is Internet Explorer. I don't recommend it anymore. Um, let's just see why here. About Internet Explorer. Okay, this is Internet Explorer 11. Um, it's, they stopped the development of Internet Explorer because uh, Microsoft Edge is now what they want you to use. So they've stopped this development. But you can still use it safely for things like banking if that's what you, you've got all your banking favorites in there. You can use it for that, that's fine. But they would prefer that you use Microsoft Edge. Now let's go back to Edge. Okay, so what we want to do is um, your uh, browser, is, James was telling you how to get to make Google stay up on it. Yeah, it's a, oh, the three little dots up yeah. there. Yeah, okay, the three little dots up here in the corner underneath the red X, okay. I'm going to click on that, and that will give you uh, a place where you can go to the settings. The settings are at the bottom. You click on the settings, and we'll open this panel here. And um, my, where it says open Microsoft Edge with a specific page or pages, okay, if you click on that, then it will open an empty box down here. I might be able to get a second one. Uh, uh, bu -bu -bu start page. Um, and open edge with. Um, what are you trying to do? Yeah, uh, a specific set of pages. Okay, so that's what you're going to do. You're going to look for this uh, specific set of pages. And in my case, I've already filled it in with Google, so, but it'll give you a box that will be empty. So you can just type in www.google.com or anything you want. Can I put MSN in there? Yes, you can. Will that stop Yahoo coming up? Um, I think what you have, um, Brenda is is that you have if you do this if you look under settings like that yeah. you will find three or four entries here okay. what you want to do is you want to just hover over it and you see where the X is yeah. if you click on the X that'll go away the next time you open it uh, you may see another Yahoo page or some other page yeah because four Boxes come up. Yeah, the and they're all Yahoo or they're all Yahoo and they're all empty because I clicked to see what they are. Oh, okay. So um, you may have to do this right across the top to make those boxes go away, and then once you've done that, okay, 
you can enter the URL of what you want, msn.com, and when you open Edge, it will open to MSN. Okay? So I'm going to do uh, google.com. And when you've done that, uh, right beside where you've typed it in, you'll see the little save icon. Okay? Click the save icon, and there it is. Okay, so then it would open with Google? Now that will open with Google. Okay. Or whatever you type in. Um, so try that. Um, and that edge with the, the is it is it Bing or is it MSN? Because I'm getting the news features and the weather and all that. That's my front page. What, yeah. What, is that Bing or is that MSN? Uh, Bing is uh, Bing is the search engine for MSN. Search engine. Yeah. Okay. I thought Bing was bad to use. Is it? Um, I mean, we like to uh, edge. Yeah, I like Google because I find the re the search results are a little less cluttered. Yeah. But uh, if you're you, if you're used to seeing the results as they're coming to Google from Bing, don't change it. Just 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 leave it. You're not going to get into trouble. Google's in Chrome and Bing is in Edge. That's just yeah. Whatever. It's just so the way it is. Go yeah. Yeah. So see, any Microsoft updates or changes come into Bing into the Edge. Yeah, yeah come into the Edge browser. The yeah, it up it up it. Uh, the browser does not update by itself anymore. It no. waits for an update from Microsoft. Okay. So. so um, when he brings up um, Bing, like it just kind of sits there for a long, long time. Old thing. That may very well be a problem um, with Bing. Um, I'm just going to type it in here. Yes. So mine came in pretty quick. Yeah. 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 Mine is every day. Yeah. Yeah. And then when he would type oh, in his Yeah. Um, Uh, mine is, you know, bopping right along. Yes, so. but it wasn't anything like that. I don't know how long it's been like that. I never get a chance to get on the computer. Yeah. It's not at all the time. How about pumpkin pie? I don't want the pumpkin pie. Not the season. Yeah. <laughs> okay, any more questions coming along here? James is just sitting there. He needs, he needs a question or two. I mean, I like just sitting here, man. I'm tired. I've got no Yeah, well, I'm not feeling well, so you got to do some work. <laughs> Anything I'm else? Anything else for our last session of the summer? I had a question, but I've forgotten it while we kept talking. <laughs> it'll come to you. Yeah, it will. As soon as I get home, it'll come to me. I mean, oh, I know what I was going to ask you. If I can't get all this done, can you do it on the team player? Thing that we've downloaded. Team view. Team view. That'll do as well. Well, I I will probably not be able to do the driver for your. Uh, no, I might get rid of Yahoo and Google Chrome. Yeah, I might be able to do that for you from my house. Well, um, how do we do it? Do I phone you or do you phone me? Or? No, no, you you would phone me and and uh, you would tell me I have my Team Viewer open. Yeah. You will click on it like this. And Team Viewer will be open, and you will have a nine-digit number, which you will tell me. And then I'll ask you for that four-digit password, which you will tell me. And then once that's done, my computer will be talking to your computer from my office. Um, we won't have to do anything if ours are older than yours. Our view, our Team Viewer is a little older. Uh, what do you got? Ten. I think 10 will work. Okay. I think 10 will work. I put mine on uh, three months ago. So yeah, it, it'll be fine. It should be 12. But uh, 10, 11, and 12 are all working together, I believe. Um, kind of leads me to um, something just in case we, uh, like, Grandpa can't uh, do these classes anymore. Like, I'll still answer questions on 
on e on email. If, if I actually look at it, <laughs> yeah, we may you know we may come up with with. Uh, What's your email? Um, yeah. well, we, we may come up with some um, <laughs> with some method by which uh, James can be uh, still still be involved uh, when he goes back to work, uh, if and when he goes back to work. <laughs> yay! Um, he he's won't be able to to do classes anymore uh, because if, if he's working afternoons, he has to be there too. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, but up at two and three and four in the morning. Yeah. Hey, I'm up at three in the morning. Yeah. But we will figure something else out. Um, I'm not. I'm just putting it out there for now. That, uh, like I said, I don't know how much longer uh, my health will allow me to do this at the pace I have been doing it. Um, I kind of. If if we uh, are going to just continue it through like email and just answer questions through email. Um, I think we showed how to take like screen pictures. Yeah, I, uh, if you have a, um, a question through email that I think is worth a 10 minute video, okay, I'll sit down in front of my computer and I will produce a 10 minute video showing you what you need to know, okay? Yeah. Um, um, well, for now, I can, these are these are one-hour videos, and we cover a lot of ground. But uh, for for something um, like uh, setting up your browser the way you want it, um, I might be able to sit down and do a five or ten-minute video, which I can put up on YouTube and, and and have that as a class video that you can go to, that everybody can go to. But. Um I can't remember which one of our lessons, but we showed how you can take a screen capture yes. of your desktop window. That was a few months ago. Yeah. Yeah. That was, yeah. Th those would be a good idea to start getting in the habit of, um, just in case like this doesn't work out. So when you uh, email us, you can just send a picture of this is what's happening or happened, and then and we can get a better. Yeah. Uh, James's uh, grandfather, my wife's uh, uh, father, um, he will call me up all the time and say, I can't get the damn computer to do this. I can't get the damn computer to do that. Are you sitting in front of it, Dad? No, I shut the damn thing off. <laughs> that sounds familiar. Yes, and so, you know. I can't help him because he shut the damn thing off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we understand. That's like you, you were saying, you know, the phones will remember remember some of your words. Yeah. Yeah. Stupid thing. You know, that's not <laughs> it's my Stupid. Okay. Okay. Bluetooth, we were talking about. Yes. Okay, Wi-Fi. What's the difference between the two? Um, Wi-Fi is a wireless radio. Bluetooth is also a radio, um, a radio type of communication, but um, it's it's very low powered. It's mainly for things like keyboards and and a mouse. You can you can buy a, a Bluetooth keyboard and a Bluetooth mouse, and they are going to sit right next to your computer. And what it does is it does away with the wires in the back of your computer. Okay. But they're sitting right there with an effective range of about 10 or 12 feet. More than that, further away from the computer, and they don't work. That's why we want to, uh, we want to go with a radio system for sound that works, you know, 60, 70, 80 feet. Now, if you have a phone and you want to connect it to your phone, Bluetooth is a better option because you'll have typically your phone on you and if Bluetooth headphones or something, you it won't be that hard. Yeah. 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 I have a neighbor that walks around with the thing in her ear all day long. Yeah, that's a Bluetooth she's headphone. Her phone on her then, yeah, that's, she's all outside watering and everything. Yeah, yeah. That's a Bluetooth headphone. <laughs> I uh, I used for a number of years I used something like that and then I got an infection in my ear that never went away. 
Okay, that's it uh, for this year, folk. Hang on a second, Bob, before you go. We got a gift for you and James for Thank you very all much. your yes. uh, Well, we, we well, appreciate you that. Well, you guys don't have Thanks, to sir. Do that. We don't have to do it, but we do. Thank you so much. Um, we will see you again. Um, I will send out an email uh, with uh, some more information about what we will be able to do this fall. Uh, hopefully, uh, my health will stabilize and we'll be able to keep going with a couple of times a month. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think it's just because he needs a wig. <laughs> no. That's personally proud of yeah. Okay, thank you so much, everybody. <laughs>